In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the AxiSet app, which is a tool for visualizing the performance of your multi-axis machine. In an earlier video, we've seen how AxiSet can be used to make measurements on the machine and update the centers of rotation on the CNC. In this app, the data is visualized and Mark's going to take us through some of the views. So Mark, why don't we uh, take a look at what we've got? Sure. So when we run the AxiSet cycles on the machine, um, we have the ability to create a report of those measurements. Right. And we can take that, that file and import that into our AxiSet app. And the app then gives us the ability to do a lot more calculation with the, the right. points that we measure. Dig a bit deeper. And visualize it. Uh, Great, yeah. Okay. So I see we've got two plots there. Yeah, so center plot then shows the axis set measurement of the sphere position at different angles. Right. Okay, and as you can see here, for the B-axis test, we ran at 0, 45, and 90 degrees on the right. B-axis, and those are the recorded sphere center position. So basically here I'm looking um, down the axes round the B and we can see the, the minimum and maximum there. Great, okay. okay. And then we've got this second plot. Yes, the additional plot then, the alignment error plot then, and this is the beauty of the app, we can calculate this additional data, is uh, the, the alignment error then of the B axis to what will be the linear axis, the Y axis. Of the right, machine. so basically how square the rotary table is on those axes. Correct, okay. yes. And if everything was absolutely perfect, nominal, it would be relatively flat, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right then. And so um, I see down here that the various different error types have been broken down into components, haven't Yeah, that's right. So we can do a lot more calculation within the app than we, we do on the machine. Right. Uh, the most notable uh, error that we have is the, the components. Okay. So when we ran the auto update on the machine, we found some error. We yep. updated the parameters. That's effectively what the errors are that we right, see Right, okay, here. so around about three microns when we ran Correct. it last time. Now, if you didn't use the auto-update function on the machine, yeah. you could manually correct the rotary uh, center lines of your axes by Taking updating those values. those values and updating the parameters that okay. uh, control the And rate. if you're using an offline cam system, those might be the numbers you'd pump in yeah, there you if you're using five Yeah, you pull those in or update. Great. Okay, and so this app also allows us to have a look at the results over time, doesn't it? Correct, yes. Yeah. So we have the historical data tab then here. Right. Um, okay. And as you can probably see, we've got numerous amount of tests here, and obviously we can then look at those over time and see what maybe trends are happening or what's happening. Right. Okay. Now, it's, what's leaping out to me is that first uh, graph there where I can see there's a point well into our uh, tolerance zone. Yes, sure. So. This is the axis center point error. This is the total uh, rotary axis center line error. Right. Okay? And uh, the, the most notable then is the first test that we did. Now, this was when we first ran axis set um, to uh, set the pivot point correctly in the first instance. So maybe just install the rotary yeah. axis, install the machine. So the rotary axis might have just been put on nominal. Sure. And this would be a test where we'd be tuning that value. Correct, correct. Um, and then you can see after that, we've got very, very small okay. updates. The, the really good thing about that is that um, we can make a comparison to when the machine was first installed and uh, should there be any wear or accidents on the machine, we'd be able to see it there, wouldn't we? Absolutely, yes. Great, okay. And so I'm very familiar with going around machine shops and seeing full bar test reports on the back of machines. Um, and so I think we've got something similar then for the rotary We have the axis. ability to uh, generate a report, a uh, simple PDF version. And uh, this then is a log of the test uh, you just ran. Right. And it outputs all of the data that we've calculated within the app and uh, all of the blocks as okay. well. So I can have them side by side, my ball bar for the linear axes, the axis set uh, results for, for the rotary axes. Yes, correct. That's it. Okay. And I think it's important to say also that the user can run the AxiSet macros and that results file could be sent to the service department or the machine tool supplier. They can import it and see it all themselves. Correct. So the, the, the print file that we create on the machine is, is basically a text file and you can then email that across right. uh, okay. and they can import it into their version of the app and see exactly the same results. Great. So perhaps some off-site analysis and saving a service visit or at least gathering some information. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Mark. Okay. So if that's been interesting to you, please find out more at renishaw.com forward slash axiset.